Well, hi there, friends. Um, today we'll do a really small project. Um, I got this steam engine model yesterday from a good friend. Thank you, Christoph. And it's really pretty. It's really neat. It's just a tiny model of a steam engine. You have this pressure cooker here. This will generate steam pressure, which goes down here to the cylinder, which will drive this flywheel. And I thought myself, let's just build an electrical power plant just to see how they work. Um, will be interesting, so let's see how it goes. So let's start the thing off just to see if it still works before we do any other work. I wanted to use these standard paraffin uh, candles to fuel it. Like actually they come with these things here where you can buy pellets to get the fire started, but I wanted something household wise that just works. And I don't have to go to the shop to buy pellets all the time. Let's see how this goes. I filled it up with water a few minutes ago. You should use um, distilled water. It's better because otherwise, you know, with all the minerals and the calcium inside, it could be possible to clog up the small tube here. Well, after a while of fooling around a bit, I think I got it running. Well, I have had to modify the candles a bit to put like more uh, strings inside. They produce some more flame, but it's really getting to pressure. That's really neat. I glued my magnets here. I made a coil myself, a lot of super glue involved. And back here I have this little um, oscilloscope connected, so let's see if it gives out any AC. Ah, it sounds like it wants to. Oh, nice! You see the curve there on the oscilloscope? That's great! Seems to work quite stable. So let's try to get that AC from the um, from the winding to DC to power uh, LED or something. So after fooling around a little bit more, or well actually a lot more, I think I got something working here. It's very very little electricity though, so I I can get this red LED here to like maybe flash every three minutes. That's the power we can get out of our generator, well, it's okay, it's proof of concept it's working. As you see I added more magnets and also I put the plus minus thingies here just that you can see. And Actually now, um, watch the oscilloscope, see the, wa the wave there, the sine wave, it seems to be working. What I also changed, this is kind of important I think, this is the old coil that I used, the first one. I made a new one with thinner wire and a lot more uh, windings. That gave me quite a bit more power out. It's still very, very little. Like I can't even measure the AC here exactly. I think it's 0 0.5 volts maybe AC coming out of here. Then I made a, a voltage multiplier circuit. It looks really messy, it is really messy, but I'm like too lazy to draw a schematic, but uh, just Google voltage multiplier, look at the picture search, and that's quite what this here is. Also, I added a big, bigger capacitor here, which we just power up as our like energy tank. And with the switch here, I just can open it up that the LED will light up for a quick moment. So we have to wait three, four, five minutes to charge this here. Then we can decharge it here. And also some other stuff, like the, the candle thing is not the best idea I figured out. It works, but I don't know if you ever poured water into liquid um, wax. That makes quite big explosions and it's really actually a big uh, fire hazard. It's not a good idea. So I put this guy here uh, up close. But it's working, so I'll start it up and show you. So I think we're slowly at working pressure. So first thing, I just want to show you the sine wave on the 
on the oscilloscope and also I'll put the voltmeter right behind the LED to see how much power we have in the capacitor here. So let's see. See the sine wave? That's quite pretty. But that's directly from the coil, so this is the AC. Then I check. Ah, it's not hot enough. But we have like 1.4 volts. Just to show you the measurements, I'll get this here set up, put my hand brake, ah, fuck. Ah, something like this, okay. Just give it a few more minutes and charge the capacitor and then I'll turn on the LED just to show you how it works. Last check with the multimeter. Could be better. Let's give it a check. Just watch the LED here. Well, okay, like after fooling around a lot with voltage multipliers, I think they're like Willard cascades basically, and an electric fly water transformer and stuff. I, point is I can't really get the LED to light up but that's okay for me I mean I had my reading on the multimeter and also the oscilloscope showed us some nice um, sine waves so it is producing electricity just very little and I'm sure you could do this setup better I'm really bad in electronics and also in safety measures I guess I don't know like molten and wax and water is not a good idea to put them together i had like a small fire before but nothing bad happened i didn't even have to use this one but yeah but it's neat i like it it's working it's proof of concept so hope you like it too and maybe you do a better job than me see you soon bye